Maria is going to have us try three different types of wine. One of their white. I think she can explain a little bit about each one as we go through it. This is the Grand Selection 2010 white, and there's only been about 600 of these bottles made, so I've had a chance to eat, to eat um, lunch with it today, and that's one of the 600 that's now gone, and this is another one. <laughs> and then the Crianza style um, Carmendia 2005, and the Carmendia Selección 2005, which is one of their favorites as well. Okay, so we're going to do the tasting of these three wines. With us today is our enologist, <laughs> Raúl, and Maria, the managing director of Garmendia. So, we have a white, a crianza, and a selection. And a selection would be the equivalent of a reserva, like a reserva yeah. type wine. And it has 24 months in barrel. The crianza has how many months in there? 16. 16 months in barrel. And then the white, um, which is oh. a Verdejo Grey Virgin, has four months in oak. French four oak. months in French oak. It's very it's, special. It's uh, fermented and aged four months. Fermented and aged four months. Great. Okay, so, so we start? Yes. Would you go first, please? Mister? Our analogist will tell us a little bit about the wine itself. It's uh, very fruity in the nose and uh, why fruity? What, what, what do you find in this wine? I think uh, apple and pear. Pear. And tropical fruit. Tropical fruit, like pineapple, for example? Yeah. Pineapple, pineapple. or some peach, maybe you would not find it yeah. as well. And uh, a little of uh, pepper from the. Pepper, uh, pepper, so specific. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. And uh, different herbs. Herbs, great. You find. I find mint in it. Isn't it? For me, it's mint. Touch of mint. Mint. Yeah, smell it. For me, yes, yeah, so just a tiny, tiny touch. Tiny, tiny I get a little touch. bit of lemon at the bottom. Oh, maybe yeah, citrus. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of citrus in it. Yeah, and definitely pear. And yeah, you're pear, saying like a, a peach. Yeah, it's so very elegant smells. Mm -hmm. Combined, it it all really mashes well together. Really goes well together and creates quite a an easy to drink. Fresh wine that I would say would be extremely would go extremely well with what would you say some fish yeah yeah some white fish white fish even I would uh, enjoy with some embutidos in Spain and even with vegetables very mm -hmm. not too much cook with fresh vegetables and even with uh, foie foie it's foie. beautiful to match with foie and chicken white meats and even uh, with I think it's there is no, we don't have to follow the philosophy, okay, of matching white wines with fish, with fish exactly. and red wines with meat. I think it's nice when you match uh, the wines with different opposite food. I mm -hmm. mean, even this with uh, fruit mm -hmm. is beautiful. Yeah, I would imagine. With fresh, imagine really, really with well. strawberries, or even with uh, some mango. Mango. Yeah. Mm. That's a good combination. Nice, nice, yeah. nice, yeah. How the and, well, it's almost some of these white wines that you could... Uh, you could drink drink on a hot summer day, and uh, it, it goes really well by itself. But it also goes really well um, with food. So you should uh, definitely yeah. try it. And this is the Blanco Gran Selección 2010. And next, we're gonna try the Crianza style. Yeah. Carmendia Tinto 2005. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. It, it, that, this wine is three great varieties. It's, uh, Tempranillo Marciano en Garnacha, and uh, it has been kept in oak during uh, 16 months in American and French oak. Okay, and uh, okay, go ahead. With yeah, this, for me, to share with us. It's a uh, a lot of uh, fruit in the in the nose. Red fruit, for red, example. Red and, and yeah, cherry mm -hmm. fruit. Mat mature fruit, forest yeah. fruit, isn't it? Like no, cherry. it's more uh, red. Red fruits. Red fruits. Like strawberries, strawberries and red, and raspberries and... Um, you have a, after the, the, the torch of the vanilla. The, the, the vanilla from, from the American. Wood. The vanilla from um, the American. And some spices then from yeah. the French, yeah. right? Yeah. And spices. You also find pepper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also I find the very uh, typical style from Armenia is the sweet tannin that you mm -hmm. find in the 
in the case of this one. It also happened in this other one, in the, in the selection, that is like a common feature or characteristic of the wine. The sweet tanning, you know, you yeah. taste it, it looks like it's very sweet. Like, it looks like sugar, but it's not sugar because of the because of the vanilla. So, what do you have? Beautiful. Let's see. Oh, the smell is so involves you. I almost get a little bit of leather. Just a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But I smell the raspberries and, and yeah. some of the strawberries. A little bit of like jam almost. Jam, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe a little bit of prune. I'm a little bit of jam. Alright, I'm gonna get a quick taste. Yeah. And even the color is beautiful for mm -hmm. a camp. It's so thick. Mm -hmm. Even you, 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 you can't really even see through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I almost taste a little bit of the regaliz. Yeah. Um, which would be like the licorice stick. Yeah, licorice stick. Mm. Um, the, the, yeah, the yeah, yeah, it's like you're eating marmalade. Mm -hmm. It's got a full body to it yeah. and it's got a nice persistent. It's a nice structure, mm -hmm. long mouth, long mouth. very mm -hmm. fruity in the post taste. Exactly. It's long and. Well, this is this wine is already in the United States. Mm -hmm. We we are uh, selling it in different states and in California and United and New York and Colorado, Arizona, and um, we are going in the future. We are going to be in Washington and New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So um, and for the moment, it's working very very well, and the the people is they, they like right, they really like right. so it's very good, very good result. Exactly. So this is the Vino de la Tierra, Castilla y León, which makes it uh, different because it's um, from a different area of Spain. And we're located about, what, 40 kilometers, 50 kilometers from Burgos? Yeah, and 40 kilometers from Valencia. Both cities is the, the nearest city from, from the area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. This, these wines are organic as European certification, but we got this year the NOP certification, but it means that it's the one for the United States, certification for organic. Great. And we are, so we have it also, we, we can say it's an organic wine mm -hmm. in the United States. So for you health nuts, this is a great wine too. Yeah, it doesn't have any pesticides <laughs> in it, it's all natural. Yeah. So, and the last one we have is a selection. Yeah, selection. The Selection 2005. And this also is an ecological yeah, wine, yeah, eco yeah. wine. And this is uh, the equivalent of, I would say, a Reserva, right? Yeah, so that's right. Before. And um, this is Tempranillo Merlot, Great Virgin, and uh, well, uh, I think it's, he should make the introduction of the wine. <laughs> the one who makes the wine. For me, it's uh, more black fruit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after uh, we have a prune, dry prunes, and wood. Which? From the uh, from the oak, we use for this wine uh, French oak. All French. All, all is making in French oak. Mm -hmm. and, and new French, new French, French, French oak. New French oak. And we make the the second fermentation, mm -hmm. the malolactic fermentation. Oh, this one. In, the French oak. In the French yeah. oak. That's great. How long is the malolactic fermentation on this one usually? A few months. Depends. Depends it depends. On each well, each the wine year has a little bit different yeah. depending. Yeah. Depends the temperature, depending the wine, depending mm -hmm. each. Uh, uh, the depending wine on the grape each, each year, I mean, it's different. Yeah. Right. Depending um, on the quality of the grape each year. Yeah. Right. Okay. And it's no. It's a natural uh, fermentation. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, you can do <laughs> uh, more quickly, more slowly, depend the, right. the, the 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 bacteria. The wine is there, yeah, yeah. In the wine. Exactly. What the malolactic does is it kind of rounds out the wine and it kind of perfects it. And uh, this is what you see with this one is that it's got 24 months in barrel. And uh, it's got a very nice, complex uh, bouquet yeah. and also yeah. has a very good palate. Uh, I've had a chance to try this one already before, so I can say this. <laughs> Well, this, this, this wine also, uh, just to add more aromas I find it in here, is the cacao notes because mm -hmm. of the French oak and also for me the tobacco. You know, the tobacco, the one when you, before you 
burnt the charcoal, the smell, the, 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 the blown one mm -hmm. smells so nice, mm -hmm. and and you you get these notes in the in the in the wine, and even for me chocolate, chocolate from the cacao, of course. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, toffees. For me, toffees like the toffee, toffee, toffee. Yeah, yeah, toffee, toffee. Yeah, yeah. caramel, caramel. Yeah. You can see from those, it's a quite thick. You can't really see through it, but it's got this amazing dark color for something that's been aged in 24 months in barrel. So, and even the most, for me, the most is, uh, important is that you don't feel the suck aroma of the wood when you smell it and when you taste it. Yeah. It's integrated, it's balanced. So that's very important for the wine. I get that pepper and clove. Mm, the clove, yeah. The yeah. clove. The pepper. And the prune. The prune. Mm. I get that chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. So these, what would you say, these two reds that we tried, um, they go, what would they go well with? What would you recommend? What would you... Well, um, I would recommend half with match with uh, the food that you love. Mm -hmm. Don't think about matching because of the styles of um, fashion. Mm -hmm. Just you have to make the matching as you like. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you are having a beautiful day, a nice meet with good friends, just open the bottle, enjoy it. And wine is to be shared, so yeah, that's right. This is one of these bottles where you would be able to sit down for a nice dinner, take a long dinner, and and drink a nice bottle of wine and share it with your loved ones. Yeah. So remember, Garmendia is in the United States, so you can look exactly. for it and we will be delighted to, to, to show you what we make. So go out and find it in your local stores and see if they don't have it, ask for it. Right. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today at Sacred Drop. Thank you very much. Bye.